Oh my gosh. Literal shit. Literal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys. How majestic is this? Hello there everybody, it is me, Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to part 2 of Wildlife Park 3, Dino Invasion. That name seriously sounds like a mid-2000s Disney game commercial, but whatever. Okay, so in the last part, we just finished building this um, protoceratops enclosure, and I'm really excited to actually just wait for these baby protoceratops to grow up into older ones because I think they're going to look really nice. Okay, so today we're going to be working on our second enclosure for this park but before we do that i actually want to work on our um our park here so let's go ahead and actually place that tree that i wasn't able to place last time because I, I'm, I'm i was so obsessed with making everything like symmetrical and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and try to do it this time and see if we can conquer our demons if that makes any sense okay maybe maybe they're actually you know what, that's probably the most symmetrical it's going to be. I actually really like this tree that we have right now a little bit more. You know what, let's let's just go for that one. And I think I'm going to go and also add some more visitor facilities as well. Um, maybe a couple of souvenir shops and a couple of toilets as well, like public restrooms and stuff. I don't know where those are. Uh... Okay, here. We have this t-shirt, uh, t-shirt, well, t-shirt store, which I think I'm gonna just place over here, I guess. Some of the grass is sticking out, though, which is kind of bothering me, but whatever. And then I want to have, like, a nice little pathway over here. Uh, like, so, just to separate it from the other amenities and facilities as well. Maybe just a small pathway, like that. And I want to have a souvenir shop next to it. Uh, let's see here. Where is the souvenir shop? Hmm. Found it. No, haven't. <laughs> okay, it's here. What is this even? Uh, this is a souvenir shop, but why does it have, like, the photo icon? Like, it, it looks like a photo booth, to be honest, like, based on the icon that it has. Um, and then I also want to place in a toilet. And I really like putting the public restroom right next to the souvenir shop because as you guys can see, they have really, really similar styles. I feel like they both look really cohesive. So I really do like that. Uh, ooh, it's raining again. Um, and I think, let's see here. I don't know what to do with these areas right here. Oh yeah, let's add some decorative items as well. I want to add that one rock thing that says wildlife park over here. Once again, the branding for this park is real, y'all. It is so real. Uh, <laughs> and let's see here. Um, okay. I mean, so far, so good. The, the music is, like, so surprising. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need to have, like, some seating as well. I haven't added a lot of, like, sitting areas right next to this, like, main entrance way. So let's go ahead and throw in maybe a bunch of benches over here, like so. And also on the other side as well, maybe three benches, actually, like that. And also over here, hopefully they fit. Yes, they do. Awesome. Whew, okay, that's really nice. I really like that. Once again, I am micromanaging my parks because I want everything to look really good. You know, I want to really take my time and make everything like look um, the best it can possibly look. I'm not sure if I want to have a pathway from here to this entrance area. Um, You know, let's, let's do that. Why not? Let's go just uh, over here, I guess. Like so. That works. And yeah, maybe we can have some more seats over here uh, for the guests. These seats are actually really important. The guests will ask for them if you don't put them. So it's better to put them now when we don't have any guests and rather than just wait for them to um, complain about it. 
And of course, I want to have like a nice sculpture over here like that. And then for this area, we're going to landscape this. Uh, I think I'm actually going to do that right now. Let's see here. Let's turn off the grid and get the raised terrain tool here. I'm not really familiar with these icons. I'm more used to uh, the icons from Wildlife Park 2 because I played that game significantly longer than I played this one. But it's 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 honestly like very similar controls. And also like a lot of the assets um, are also the same. So I mean, every time I see things, I'm just like, okay, that's also in Wildlife Park 2. Actually, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last part, but a lot of the dinosaurs that we have here are also the ones are actually exactly the same ones as the ones in Wildlife Park 2. So it's really interesting. Um, I'd love to hear more from the developers, actually. I, I know that they're really working hard to survive. Obviously, this is more of like an, um, a low budget game, but I definitely feel like it has a lot of um, good innovations. Like I mentioned in the last part, I really like the deeper systems of you know, just being more involved, like, at creatively, I guess, you know, like, the terraforming and, you know, the ability to literally, like, micromanage everything. I don't know why there's a mountain over there, but if we fill it up with plants in a little bit, it'll look a little bit better. Like that. Let's go for those. And um, I think what I actually want is these to not be not be stone like that let's go for that uh can we do something about this maybe we can soften this actually it's a little bit there we go that looks a lot nicer awesome lovely jubbly okay and some a little bit more grass over there cool beans i like that and we can definitely use more trees as well so let's go ahead to our um i keep saying um <laughs> let's go ahead to our trusty tree and just hope that it fits. This tree, actually, if you put them um, in slopes, they would flatten the slopes that are next to them. So I am a little bit cautious. Okay, there we go. Is that a weird place to have a tree, though? I feel like it is a little bit weird to have a tree there. Maybe, like, over here. Yeah, I told you guys that it does flatten the slopes. That's a little bit annoying, but, uh, I mean, there's not much we can do about it. Um, let's just, I guess, here. But... If that's there though, like we couldn't see the mountain thing that we just built, so I'm not sure. Should I just keep it there? I guess I should just keep it there, why not? Um, and then let's actually fill these ground patches with some flowers and stuff. Once again, in a little bit, these um, Birds of Paradise will, there, there you go, they will flower. And there's varieties of them as well. There's like different colors, there's orange ones, and there's um, pink ones, I think. Um, and these flowers over here, Low Monstera. I keep forgetting their names. Um, I guess I, it's easier for me to remember the Birds of Paradise because we did have those when I was growing up in my parents' house. We had some, I think we had some Birds of Paradise actually. And also the hotel from Lilo and Stitch is called the, or the resort, I guess. Um, it's called the Birds of Paradise, right? Ah, Lilo and Stitch, such nostalgia. All right, let's put these low monstera, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, cool beans. See, that looks really tropical, right? That looks like a legit, like tropical rainforest. I really like that. I really do like taking the time to just decorate the park. And then, um, cause it, cause it does look a lot better with some actual decorations that you take the time to put in. Uh, I think I'm going to put these ones actually. I'm not really sure what these are. I used to be kind of creeped out by these because they kind of look like fetuses. You guys check that out. Doesn't that look like a fetus though? Doesn't it? Um, but... Once you overcome the weird looking item, I think they actually work as nice little decorations because the sizes are actually quite good. I mean, like, yeah, the proportions are quite nice. Yeah, let's just plop in a couple over here because I wanted to 
at least have some consistency with the decorations. So I think that having these like smaller ones over here are gonna like make it kind of like an interesting theme to this whole area. And I think that's actually really nice. Uh, maybe we can, uh, I think that's actually really nice. If you can go into the ground level over here, see that looks like, um, what does that look like? That looks like Easter Island, okay. Easter Island in Chile, I believe, um, you know, with like those weird statue things and stuff. Um, people say that aliens built those, but whatever. Um, anyway, I think, um, okay, so so far so good. I think our park is looking really nice, to be honest. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually um, do some terrain painting around this sculpture over here. Like so. And then, um, actually, you know what, let's just make it all uniform and just paint it with the same terrain paint that we used for that pterodactyl entrance area. And I'm going to leave it at that. It's pretty cool. And I think it's time now to work on our second enclosure. Now, I don't quite know what animal I want for the second enclosure, so we're going we're gonna to figure it out as we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to go and paint these. Uh, in grass. Okay. I have to really be mindful of this right here. That area. Because I want it to flow naturally later on. So maybe we can just go and do it like that. I guess. So. Awesome. Cool piece. I don't really think we need such a big enclosure for this one. Because I honestly don't even know what I'm going to put. But we'll, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, you know what, I'm going to go and actually put a pathway here first. Uh, let's see, like that. Because I want to make sure that there are, um, there are sufficient pathways for our visitors to circulate in. Because the visitors, most often than not, they will only use the pathways. Uh, they won't step on the ground unless it was like absolutely like necessary uh if it doesn't require them to okay let's put that there cool beans uh and then i wonder what the shape of this enclosure is gonna be um, we'll see uh hmm. okay like maybe we can extend it a little bit more over here like that i think that is a Really nice shape. I don't even know what kind of shape this is, but uh, I want to be consistent with making the enclosures look nice and organic. Um, like so. I guess that works, right? And then maybe we can put like something special here. I don't really know what. Actually, you know what? Let's do that first because I don't want to forget. <laughs> I don't really want to forget. And eventually realize that I don't have space anymore for any facilities. Uh, and usually what I put over here as like the centerpiece of everything is actually this one, the aviary. And I think this is actually what I'm going to put here just because, uh, oh no, oh no, we don't have space for it. Ugh. I mean, I could probably just leave it there. Yeah, let's, let's leave it there. Because um, the thing is, I grew up with Jurassic Park. I grew up with, um, you know, watching those movies. And every time there's like a promenade or like an avenue, it always leads to like this iconic structure. <gasps> Actually, you know what? Maybe I can extend this a little bit further. Maybe nearer to the... Maybe nearer to the water, actually, or to where the water will be in the future. Uh, I think uh, over here. Yeah, I think right there. That is a really long promenade, but I think it's cool. I think, I think we'll be able to figure out what to fill that up with later on. Also, you guys, I am, my voice is beginning to break because <laughs> I literally just finished recording the first episode. A couple of minutes ago and now it's uploading i haven't even read any comments or any reactions from that um okay so let's see here i don't know is that okay or 
is it preferable to have this uh oopsie what am i doing what am i doing oh crap i think i just undoed everything okay you know what yeah i'm just gonna leave it there <laughs> I like how it looks a little bit more just placed there. Boom. Awesome. I'll take that. I'll take that. And yeah, it's time to work on our next enclosure, I think. Um, maybe we can have like uh, another pathway over here. I know there's so many pathways and actually... Um, Knowing how this game works, I think it is more preferable to not have as many pathways as I have right now. But you know what? It, it's fine. Like, it, at the end of the day, I'm not designing this park for the visitors. I'm designing this for the animals, you know? So, yes. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. And I don't think I'm ever going to use this laser fence. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to use that unless I was deliberately, like, trying to build, um, like, a futuristic-themed park. But I don't think that's, that'll ever happen. So, yeah, it looks like this, uh, this enclosure is not going to have as many straight walls. Maybe we can have a couple straight corners over here, I guess. Like that. And yep, that's cool. I like that. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and actually get rid of this grid here. It has served as well. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing a lot of it in the future as well. All right. Okay, this is a little bit of a weird looking enclosure, but that works. A lot... I'm hearing like some weird drum music in the background. Do you guys hear that? Probably just the thunder, but yeah. Literally, these look so much like kidneys. <laughs> All right. I think that works. I think that is genuinely like not bad. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna. I, I think I'll be able to live with that. <laughs> and of course, I want the the gateway itself to be a little bit in a discreet location. So probably here on the side, there we go. Awesome. Now it's time to decide what we're actually gonna keep here because I haven't decided yet. Haven't given it that much thought. Okay, so I'm so tempted to just go for the Styracosaurus because we are right next to the Protoceratops and these are both Ceratopsids. So we could have kind of like a theme, but um, Ceracosaur, not Ceracosaurus. But I think I'm going to go for this Parasaurophilus because I think they're going to give us a little bit more variety. And I think this is what you would normally call the duck-billed dinosaur. Uh, yeah, like the duck-billed dinosaur from Land Before Time. Duck Was it Ducky? I think it was Ducky, right? Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, my childhood, you guys. Okay, so we're going to go start off. Oh, wow, he is quite large. Whoa. He is quite large, but okay. Interesting. Uh, okay, so we have a male, Parasaurophilus. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, Parasaurophilus. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see here. My brother and I are huge dinosaur fans as well, so yeah. Uh, okay, maximum weight, age, uh, fighting strength, preferred resting place, none. Water, leaves, uh, 90 kilograms, scratch, wallow, oh no. This guy wants a lot. <laughs> uh, offspring, herd size, okay, it wants two other companions. And, yep, okay, 100% foliage density. Ooh. This is a really de this is a really demanding dinosaur. I feel like we should extend his um, his enclosure here. So I'm gonna pause the game because I don't want him to escape. Oh my gosh, literal shit, literal. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys, how majestic is this? Wow. Wow, like, ugh. 
Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This is like so majestic. Like, oh my Okay. <sighs> this game is really good, actually. Yeah, this is really good. Okay. So I'm going to demolish his, um, not demolish the whole enclosure, but I'm going to enlarge the enclosure a little bit. And I'm going to start by pausing the game because I don't want him to escape, even though him escaping isn't really a big deal. So maybe I'm not going to pause the game and just look and just wait for him to escape, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know why escaping is a big deal, but okay, let's uh, let's just destroy these gates and these fences. And uh, let's also paint the ground grass. <laughs> paint the ground grass. Paint the town red. I don't even know. And oh, crap though. Literal crap. Like, literally, this dinosaur's crap is like a huge pile of turd. I'm so sorry for the bad words, but I'm just. Oh, look at that. He is legitimately escaping. <laughs> Where's he going? I'm gonna go and make these pathways a little bit thicker, like so. And our parasol. Our Parasaurophilus is escaping. Oh, what are, ooh, he's wallowing, actually. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, whoa, I didn't expect it to be so majestic, you guys. I was honestly, like, taken aback there, to be honest. Like, that was, that was a pretty, that was a pretty, um, majestic, uh, experience. Ugh. Also being so close to like a real dinosaur. <laughs> like I love how I'm so immersed into this already. Like, I don't know. Okay, and oh my gosh, it's sick, I think. Oh no. Uh, oh, it's dying of hunger. Okay, now we're gonna have to pause the game. <laughs> I feel so bad. Okay. So, I'm assuming Hmm. I guess I'm gonna put his uh it definitely probably wants to it definitely probably oh what was my what am I saying? Um it probably wants to have a lot of water because it wants to wallow, right? So I'm gonna give it a nice pond over here to drink from. Like so. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be some species of dinosaur that actually want to, you know, swim. That'd be interesting. I think all of the species can swim to, like, some extent. I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But, yeah, I think this should be enough water for our Parasaurophilus. And, yep. Uh, let's see here. It does want to wallow, so I'm gonna go and give him like a mud, a mud like I don't know, a mud bath. <laughs> this is this freezer bunny spa. This is the freezer bunny dinosaur spa. Uh, lower terrain gradually. I guess that hole can be the like mud hole. Holy mud. Oh my gosh, these jokes are like literally the lamest ever. Let's face it, you guys. I have like no sense of humor. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, this should be enough space. Ooh, there's water in the, underneath the ground. Uh, yeah. Let's face it, people. I have no sense of humor. I think that works. And I guess we can just go and smooth the ground once we're done with painting this. Uh, let's see here. Let's paint that. Yes, the mud is actually something that you paint on. <laughs> uh, which is quite weird, but it's, I, you, know, you know what, you guys, though? When the grass gets wet, it does turn into mud. And I, I, I wait. I'm not sure if that happens here, actually, now that I think about it. But in the other, well, in Wildlife Park 2, for sure, the grass turns into mud as it gets wet. You know, so we're, we're going to see. And uh, let's see here. I'm definitely taking my time with this freaking enclosure. Uh, okay, you know what? I think I'm going to smooth this because I feel like this is a little bit too slopey. It's a little bit too slopey for my liking. So, And then 
I kind of want to have some more mountainy areas as well. Or just at least some rocks. I'm going to check his tolerance, his ground tolerance, and see what he... What what hardness of ground he appreciates? Uh, hmm. Uh, ground hardness zero to fifty. Okay, so this guy only wants a little bit softer ground. He doesn't. He cannot handle rocks and stuff. So see a thirty forty five. I'm gonna make sure that I choose the right ground for him. Okay, and let's have um a couple of hills. Let's have a couple of elevated spots. I guess not as much as what we had for the protoceratops, but you know, just enough to have some variety, right? On his landscaping. Uh, I think that's fine. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, maybe a little bit more over here. It's probably blocking the view from the guests, but who cares? I'm not really caring for the guests anymore. Like, that is not a priority at this point. And let's just paint this nicely here. I feel like I'm going to make the tips rocks still. Because I really like looking at, you know, different uh, terrains all over the place. I really appreciate it. I feel like it gives a lot of depth and a lot of detail. And like I said, that's one thing that I really want to focus on in this playthrough. I just really want detail. I really want um, to take my time into making, like literally I've said that like 50 million times, but yeah, I just, I just, I just really like talking. <laughs> Some people say I talk too much though, but it, uh, never mind. I was going to bring up like some hurtful comments, but I, I'm just not going to. Acknowledge it, I guess. Okay, I think that's good. I think we should just lay out some of the planter um, Or like some of the plant beds, I guess for our plants, obviously <laughs> Okay, and I think maybe I Would really like to know what are the other source of leaves? I mean, I'm pretty sure like any kind of plant can be a source of leaves uh, let's see here. This hill right here, I feel like it's a little bit weird. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna decrease the size. Okay, like that. Cool beans. And our Parasaurophilus is still dying of hunger. <laughs> I'm literally killing the dinosaurs. Like bringing them back this century is like pointless because they're literally dying in my hands. Okay, what can we feed this guy? Rain tree. I think this one produces leaves, actually. So I think I'm going to give these guys at least one or two of these. Uh, okay, maybe this one. I really don't want to have too much because I don't want to block the view of the guests of the dinosaurs, you know? Like, uh, I want them to be able to be visible at least, right? Uh, actually... Let's place that over there. And maybe another one over here, actually. Maybe the bigger one. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's flattening the thing. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want it to flatten the, the ground. Yep, it's flattening the ground. Damn it. Darn it. Okay, okay. so we're just going to have one big one over here in the corner. Uh, that works. I think that works. And I hope it can eat it. I really do. Uh, before I play, or I stop this, I unpause this, I guess. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but let's see here. Okay, this one also has leaves. That's good. I'm going to place a couple of these as well. These are like such a cliche like plant though for like the dinosaur era. If you guys get what I mean, like every time I think of like the time of the dinosaurs, these are the plants that immediately come into mind. So, okay, we can we can play it. 
and we're just gonna observe him first. I I believe we did um, disable animal death, so I don't think that the survival is gonna be much of a problem. Uh, and hopefully you guys can see, but I think the grass is gradually becoming mud. And okay, let's just fill this place up with a little bit more. Actually, you know what? What does it want? Uh, I would like to eat some fresh leaves. I would like to have a good scratch on something. I would like more of my own species around me. Okay, it wants to scratch on something. And it wants companions as well. Uh, and okay, it can wallow here for sure. Okay, it wants to scratch. And let's go for the grass or, or like the, the stone that I went with earlier. I think this might be a little bit too small. Or actually, just to give it a little bit more of variety, I think I'm just going to go for this log. Is this a scratching thing? Nope, that's a jumping thing. Oh, this is the scratching thing. Can they even scratch on this? It seems a little bit small. It seems a little bit small. Uh, so I'm going to wait. Oh, look at how majestic it is, though. Parasauropolis. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to come here to scratch. Hey, it is scratching. Look at that. Okay, cool beans. Uh, and let's just fill this up with some Monstera. See, now I know what this plant is called. Uh, like that. And maybe some Birds of Paradise as well. Place one there. And yeah, a couple of birds of paradise. Like so. Monstera. Yay! It's actually looking quite nice. <laughs> I'm really, really happy. Oh crap. <laughs> I forgot to place an animal keeper, but I don't think we need one actually. I don't think we need an animal keeper. But I'm gonna put one anyway, because we can afford it. We're freaking rich! In fact, we cannot go bankrupt even if we wanted to. So it's gonna have a keeper over here. What is it doing? Oh, it wants, it wants, um, it wants, oopsie, cancel, cancel. Okay. It wants, like, uh, yeah, it wants, like, its own species. What is he doing? What is happening? He must be cleaning the animal poop. I feel like he is. Okay. Uh, I hate looking at this. I don't know why. I feel like I'm just going to go for the rocks instead. Uh, why? Why must I have OCD? But at least our dinosaur is actually feeling fine, right? Oh, that's that's the wrong rock. This one is the one I wanted. Um, and I think it can go... Uh, I guess we can have one over here. Like that. And then I guess another one over here. That cool beans that works. Um, nope, a little bit right there in the center of that patch. What is happening now? Okay, I'm still hearing some weird drum noises in the background, but okay, whatever. I'm gonna pretend like I'm not hearing anything and act like everything's normal. <laughs> It must be like the rain sound effects that they have. All right, let's place in some more decorative plants right here. And I think the last couple of things that were, you know what, as I'm placing that, I should probably just go and place in some female Parasaurophilus so that our guy has some company. Oh my gosh, his company is elderly women. <laughs> This girl is like 41 years old. Did I? Did I sterilize him? No, I did not. Sterilize this guy right now. 
before I accidentally make like a breeding <laughs> breeding pair. Okay, this one's 11 years old. Oopsie. No, 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 no. Uh, this one is 11 years old, I think, and it's a female, so we're gonna get her as well. How old is this guy? This guy, I don't know how old he is, but I don't really care at this point. Just want to fill up this whole enclosure with more plants. Uh, there we go. Um, maybe a couple over here. I do really like the animal sound effects. I think they add a lot of... Holy crap. You guys hear that? Oh my gosh. Is that like some kind of mating call? It, it has to be, right? Okay, and a bunch of... Birds of Paradise. Like so. And also a couple more over here on this edge of the water. And yeah, it looks like our animals are actually pretty happy. Let's actually hit um, live mode here or um, I don't even know what this kind of view is called, but it is like a three first person view. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow, so majestic. I feel like, honestly, I feel like what we're hearing are animal farts. <laughs> I genuinely feel like we're hearing animal- Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's coming towards us. It's literally coming towards us. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa, how amazing. Okay, I'm really, really happy. Oh, look at that. I'm so happy. We should honestly check on our protoceratops. And it looks like they're also feeling fine. So yeah, our park is coming together really, really nicely. I think that's that's the pattern that I'm going to be continuing over the next couple episodes. It's mostly going to be working on the park itself and also at least one enclosure per episode. So yeah, I think with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up right here. Once again, please don't forget to hit that like, favorite, and subscribe button if you guys had fun watching this video because it really helps out the channel a lot. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.